40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, yeah? Good shit. Good shit. Thank you. 
Visa Choir. Gia! Visa! Job well done! Adams was to get it done. That Visa was impossible. Uh, reach. Same. Incline. Body yeah, same. well. So, right. So this craft. Yes. Big. Mm. That's a big. Um, mm. So it's, a, it's 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 so it's, it's it's a bigger range of motion for your for your chest, and what it allows us to do is is concentrate our effort yeah. here, up here. So it's not just down here or just across here, but now it's still concentrating the effort here. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. When you go back to this bar, you feel like you can break it. You feel like, you can, like, like your muscles in your hands and your forearms and your, your contracting strength just, it just, it like, it feels like you can almost break this bar. It's like, like, like while I'm dancing, I can just feel like I can do a most muscular yeah. while doing whatever I'm, whatever. Does that make any sense? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Savage roll with me. Holla! Yep! Boom! Now that was to the beat if you ain't noticed. <laughs> Chino Rock and King Kai. Monica's <laughs> King Kai. It's okay. Yeah. Me. Our room. Very power. I together plenty. Me no. No power. <laughs> Three. <laughs> oh. Let's get it. One, two, three, up. 
Let's rock, let's rock. Let's rock, let's rock. One. Yep. Two. Yep. Let's rock, let's rock. Three. Yep. Yep. Let's go. All right. Let's roll. Oh. One more rep, more so rep. Guys, make sure you guys are following Facebook Ooh, Live. It's going Three. down right now on yep. Facebook Let's Live. Ty four. Green, yep. Mr. Ken. Yep. Five. Let's do yep. it. Yep. Six. Yep. You like this bar? <laughs> really nice. <laughs> it's a very thick bar. Some would say it's girthy. What? Some would say it's girthy. Girthy. That's what she said. <laughs> I don't know about the lift though, but uh. <laughs> 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 Same drop? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. The next one. We gotta do some work. We gotta work a little bit. <laughs> gotta work a little bit. My man Johnny Jackson said he don't need Rats. <laughs> Remember that combo, Johnny? I'm gonna use these right now. So to my man, Johnny Jackson. I said, fuck you, look. <laughs> <laughs> Lovingly. No, I'm just messing with you. Shout out to Johnny Jackson. <laughs> Let's get it, Mr. Kang. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. This set right here. Oh. One. Yep. Two. Yep. Three. Yep. Four. Up, 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 up. Let's go. Five. Up, 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 up. Good. Was it four? Was it four? Now five. Alright, we could just drop Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Whoa. Damn. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Easy. Oh! Yeah. Uh, got it. 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 Uh, got it.
process when when uh, trying to do my chest training. Yeah, 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 yeah. So technically you're right with with respect to the incline bench that we started yeah. with and even the particular way that we were doing the flat bench. Yeah. We still were, were almost performing a guillotine with promoting a stretch and contraction yeah. concentrated yeah, yeah. right in the sternoclavicular area of my chest. Yeah, I do try to concentrate in that area. Um, but you are right, yes.
little bit, a little bit fair. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Okay, first time exercise. Okay, free. Oh, you never do this? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You never do it in Dumbo Fly? No, you don't do black at all. Why not? O only in press. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, pack the fly. Pack the fly. Uh -huh. The ocean, yeah. ocean yeah. and the And when it, it, when it came in competition, we'll, we'll hit it sometimes. But unfortunately, no, it's not your flag at all. Really? Yeah. Wow. Why not? Uh, Korean uh, exercise style. Incline uh, dumb, uh, dumbbell. Incline dumbbell. Fly. No exercise. Korean style. Okay. okay. Korean? Yeah, 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 yeah. What is the, so what is the Korean equivalent? Uh, Korean uh, first uh, flat bench press. Okay. I mean, uh, I can I uh, some question you why uh, a flat bar incline? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm, Korean side flat bench here yeah. middle. Mm -hmm. You side uh, incline bar. Incline, flat, incline, same. When you're benching, you're bringing yeah, the yeah. bar to your neck. Right. Where, it's, where it's flat, he's used to bring it to the middle of the chest, and incline, right. he's used to bring it to his neck. He's asking why you bring it to your neck. Okay, because I'm, I'm trying to recruit more of my upper chest and make my upper chest more responsible for um, being affected in the movement. So I'm, I'm choosing, I'm making the choice to involve it, sorry. I'm making the choice to involve it by turning my elbow out and giving my, my um, I'm increasing the range of motion. Does that make any sense? So in an effort to recruit more of my chest fibers, I'm turning my elbow out and by doing that, I'm able to increase the range of motion that I have, even with a bar. Yeah. So, like traditionally, if I were to bring, if I weren't, if I weren't able to bring that to, to turn my elbow out, and and aim to bring that bar further up on my sternum, then I would only have, I'd be left with only this placement. You know, which is a very limited range of motion. It it will allow me to use my chest, my mid chest. But there's still so much more muscle that I can in, that I can recruit and involve if I just tweak the movement just a little bit. So that's and because in my chest I need to improve that area by becoming more uh, connected and aware and just using more of the tissue. Does that make, make, make sense? Yes, so if I just stay here. Um, the limited range of motion and means I'm only going to recruit a certain amount of, of muscle fiber. I'm, I want to get I want to get more. I want to increase the amount of activity in my whole chest, particularly further up, closer to the sternum and closer to the clavicle. So the sternoclavicular area on my chest is what I'm looking to to um, develop, and the only way to do that is to take the training intensity and and and. Um, tweak the movement so I can get more of that, that area involved in the contractile part of it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I some ask a uh, question? Uh, flat bench press, you hear bar on door no problem. In, uh, flat but uh, middle. He said, mm. yeah, more muscle. Yeah. So he wants to focus this Yeah, muscle I understand. Group. I understand. Uh -huh. I mean, shoulder. No problem, no pain. He, he's saying he's uh, saying he feels it in the shoulder when you're doing it on your neck on the You flat. can, but technically, what I try to do is tuck, try to tuck my my elbows in, yes. keep my chest up and tuck my elbows in. So, and by doing that, I, I'm actually trying to take my shoulder out of it and force the contraction through my chest. Okay. Force the contraction through my chest. So, by tucking my elbows in, I'm also also pulling my shoulders back and 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 forcing the contraction to occur yeah, yeah. through my chest. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, if I keep my shoulders out, yeah. then what happens is I do, I do activate my shoulder more. Yeah. Um, so I think by tucking your elbow in, you kind of, um, I'm, I'm feeling internally, I'm feeling for the contraction in my chest. Yeah, yeah. And by doing that, I'm, I'm 
I'm trying to take my shoulders out of it. So if I do the exercise and I feel that my, sh my shoulders, I get up and I feel the pump in my, in my delts, then chances are I gotta tweak that movement a little bit more. So what I'm conscious of at this point is bringing my shoulders, tucking my elbow in, my shoulders in, my chest up, and pushing, trying to push through my chest. Does that make sense? There's also a curve that I'm, that I'm looking for in my lower back. So by doing that, I'm keeping my chest up and I'm trying to drive through my chest. Does that make sense? So there's a natural thing that's happening. This, this uh, external rotation of, the, of your, um, of external rotation of the humerus. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm, tr I'm trying to take that out of the equation at all and, and force it through my chest. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Oh.
unless you yeah um, unless you want to do something else yeah, that, would, that would be it we did, we did uh, pullovers you know that pullover the pullover after dips so we did pullovers pullovers before getting on the incline flat dumbbell fly Cable crossovers. Hmm. Five exercises. Yeah, we hit the requirement. 20, 20 sets. We, we've done that in spades. 20, 24 sets. We've done that in spades. So, do you, what do you normally do? Do you normally do more? Yeah. What, what do you normally do for chest? Cross, flat, incline, incline dumbbell, deep, and uh, pull it over. You do do pull? Yeah, yeah. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so we're still on Facebook Live. Um. So yeah. So come on, Mr. King. So. Yeah, um, so Mr. King said he normally does five exercises for chest, like me. Uh, so I think we're, we're pretty much done. Now, if you didn't know, we started off with pullovers, followed by incline bench press, then followed up with uh, flat bench. Then from flat bench, we went to incline dumbbell flies, and from incline dumbbell flies, we came over here and we did, um, um, Vertical cable crossovers. So, cable crossovers, five exercises in total, um, more than 24 sets. And uh, for that, we are done. Um, Mr. Kang said he only does five exercises, so I think we're still in the ballpark of what Mr. Kang uh, usually does for chest, with the exception of maybe a few tweaks here and there. But for you at home that are watching, if you were saying, hey man, I'd like to get more out of, out of my chest training, uh, you might want to try this You're starting off with some dips, some pullovers, right into your incline bench first. Um, give it a try. Oh, and another thing we got a chance to throw at Mr. King today was that thicker bar on the uh, flat bench. I don't know if your gym has anything like that. Um, it's your traditional, uh, I guess, uh, powerlifting um, device. This gym seems to have a lot more of those kinds of extra stuff. They got wheels and tires and you know, you um, just see outside, it's pretty crazy. But anyway, if you watch it, I hope you had a good time watching. I hope it was something that was uh, fruitful for you, um, even if it was just entertainment. And uh, Mr. King, is there anything you'd like to say before we get rolling off here? Yeah, I'm oh, very good. Yeah, he ain't crying. Now, Mr. Kang speaks multiple languages. He speaks more languages than I will ever know, and he speaks English better than I will ever speak Korean. Real talk. So, if you're laughing out there, you gotta understand, you know, there's something to be said about being multilinguistic over here. Um, anyway, um, all that said, this is my honor, my privilege to be able to train with Mr. Kang today. Dynamic Muscle TV, it's what's up. Uh, tune in next time. Let's keep it positive, let's keep encouraging each other. Peace. I mean, Korean speaking, the Kai style are fast, fast, uh, deep, and drop, uh, proper, uh, fast, mid, deep, deep front, uh, uh, me incline, flat, back, back, deep front, me, no power, Kai style, uh, follow me, follow you, no power. <laughs> When that pre workout kicks in. Yeah! I'm just excited because Mr. Can came.